Hi, in this video, we are going to look at Kubernetes manifest deployment using blue green deployment strategy. And we are going to do that by using the YAML first approach. But before we get started, make sure you have access to a Kubernetes cluster where you are going to make your deployment. Second, install the Helm CLI as we are going to install the delegate using Helm. Also, create a GitHub personal access token and keep it handy. And finally, fork the Harness CD example apps. The link to the repo is given in the description or in the box. So let's get started. So jump onto app.harness.io and get logged in. For this video, we are going to use the default project. Let's begin with the most essential step of a deployment setup, and that is to install a Harness delegate. You can hover over project setup and click on delegates. Now, a delegate acts as a bridge ensuring that Harness Manager's capabilities are readily available to you and a delegate facilitates seamless connectivity between you and the Harness Manager. So for that, click on Install a Delegate. We will be using Helm Chart to install a delegate. Give it a name. I have a Minikube cluster running. So I'll be utilizing that for this demo. Copy this command. Move to the terminal where your cluster is running. Paste it. It's already there. Let's update it. Okay, it's updated. Let's move back and try to install the delegate. It's installed. Let's watch the pods. It's in harness delegate ng namespace. So the pod is running, but it's not ready yet. Let's wait for that. Also, with a delegate in place, your secrets such as credentials or access key remain within the confines of your network. They are never exposed or transmitted outside your secure environment, thus enhancing the overall security posture of your infrastructure. That being said, as you can see, our delegate is ready. Let's move back to our platform. Once you have your delegate up and running, click on verify. You would see the heartbeat is received and the delegate is initialized. Click on done. Now we have a delegate in place. So let's move forward and look at how you can set up connectors. Remember we had your GitHub personal access token created. Now let's use that. So let's add your GitHub personal access token. In secrets, create new secret. Click on text. Give your secret a name. Add your GitHub pad. Click on save. Harness git pad is added. Now let's move to connectors. So connectors are basically what establishes a link between Harness and various third party tools. In this case, it's GitHub. With a GitHub connector, you'll be able to access your GitHub repository. So there are two ways to set up a GitHub connector, either by using a UI or using a YAML builder. For this video, we are going by the YAML first approach. Click on create via YAML builder. Now to get the YAML, move on to Harness CD example apps, which you have forked before. Copy the GitHub connector YAML, move back to the Harness platform and paste the YAML. Here you might need to update certain configurations. Check your project identifier. Also update the GitHub username with your username. Click on save changes. As you can see, the harness git connector is added. Let's test the connection. The connectivity status is success. That being said, our GitHub connector is in place. Now we need another connector to talk to our Kubernetes cluster. So let's set that up. Again, we'll go by the YAML first approach. For the YAML, move to Harness CD example apps. Click on Kubernetes connector. Copy the YAML. Paste it. Here you can see the delegate selector has a delegate name. Specify the delegate name which you have set up before. Click on save. The Harness 
Kubernetes connector is added. Let's test for connection. So the connectivity status is success. With the help of these connectors, now you are connected to GitHub as well as your cluster. In the next step, we are going to set up an environment along with its infra for your deployment process. So move to environments. An environment serves as a contextual or configurable setting in which your application is deployed. It is typically categorized into different types such as QA, dev, production and others depending on your specific needs. At Harness, you have the flexibility to name and define the basic type of an environment distinguishing between production and non-production environments. To set up your environment, click on new environment. Go to YAML. To find the environment YAML, move back to Harness CD example apps. And here you'll get the environment.yaml. Copy the YAML, move back to the platform and paste it. Click on save. Straightforward, isn't it? Now we have the environment, but to support an environment, we have to bring up infra. Infra here refers to the underlying physical or virtual resources that are required to support the execution of an application. It provides the foundation upon which the software is built or deployed. So click on infrastructure definitions, then click here, again move to YAML. To get the infrastructure definition YAML, move back to Harness CD example apps. Click on infrastructure definition YAML. Copy it. And replace this with the YAML you copied. You need to click on edit and now you can replace it. Click on save. So as you can see, the infra is added. Now we have an environment added and the infra is in place to support that environment. But what do we deploy to this environment? In Harness, that is known as a service. So a service refers to what you intend to deploy within an environment. It includes all the components required for deployment like configurations, variables, manifest, artifacts and more. Let's look at how you can set up a service. Click on new service. Give your service a name and click on save. The service is created. Now let's switch to the YAML mode to configure it further. So simply copy the service YAML from Harness CD example apps and paste it here. Move back to the visual section to confirm your changes. As you can see, the guest hook manifest is added over here. Now click on save. And there you go, you have the service in place. Now that we are done with service, additionally, Harness offers powerful features to enhance this service deployment and have granular control over the entire deployment process, such as version control, rollback capabilities, and the ability to apply advanced deployment strategies like canary deployment or blue green deployments. These features ensure smooth transitions and minimize any potential impact on your users or systems. In this video, we are going to look at the blue green deployment setup through a CD pipe. We will learn about blue green deployment in a while, but first let's set up a CD pipeline. A pipeline in Harness is a process which integrates delivery, operations, testing, etc. So let's set up the CD pipeline. Click on create pipeline. Give your pipeline a name. Make sure inline is selected. Click on start. Now switch on to the YAML mode. Go back to Harness CD example apps and you'll have the blue green deployment YAML for your CD pipeline. Copy it. Move back. Click on edit. And paste the YAML. Click on save. And here you have the pipeline in place. Move back to the visual section to confirm these changes. As you can see, the blue green deployment stage and the swap stage for blue green deployment is added. But let's run this pipeline and meanwhile, let's try to understand what is blue green deployment. 
let's click on run run pipeline so as you can see the pipeline is, is execution has started so blue green deployment is about having two identical environments called as blue which is the staging environment and green which is the production environment they run simultaneously with different versions of the service or artifact which you are deploying now qa and testing are done on this blue or staging environment and when completed the traffic is flipped via a load balancer from the green environment which is the current version to the blue environment which is the new version as you can see here also you have the option of decommissioning the old environment or rolling back to it in case your deployment fails there are certain pros and cons to blue green deployment strategy let's look at the pros it is simple fast well understood and easy to implement less risk relative to other deployment strategies and it has rapid rollback you just have to flip the traffic back to the old environment now there are certain cons to it that is replicating a production environment can be complex and expensive also an outage or single point of failure could have a wide scale business impact before the rollback kicks in and when we are switching from one environment to the other there might be some current transactions and sessions which would be lost due to the physical switch from one machine serving the traffic to another one. let's move back to our pipeline now that you have a basic understanding about blue green deployments let's see it in action as you can see in the console log there are two service selectors one is blue and the other one is green here blue is the current production environment and green is the staging environment once the testing is completed and the version is stable the traffic is flipped via a load balancer from the blue environment which was the current production environment to the green environment which is now the new version apart from blue green deployment strategy there are various other advanced deployment strategy which harness offers like rolling deployment where all the pods or instances in a single environment are incrementally replaced with a new service version without downtime and we also have canary deployment canary deployment in harness is a two step process where phase 1 adds new pods or instances with new service version to an environment then in phase 2 a rolling update is performed on the same environment you may try out these strategies as well by referring to the deployment yaml given on the harness cd example app repository or you may also refer the docs and videos provided in the description below so that was all for this video i hope this video added some value and insights to the harness deployment process and strategies thank you for watching this video